We are Two Guys Playing Zelda, and you can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Play Zelda or email us at Two Guys Playing Zelda at gmail.com. This is our video walkthrough for the Spirit Temple. It's the fifth and final temple we'll encounter as Adult Link in the Ocarina of Time. And even though I said Adult Link, we'll actually be going through this temple twice, or two mm -hmm. parts of it. Mm -hmm. Once as Young Link, and once as Adult Link. Yep, uh, after we get the uh, Silver Gauntlets, I think it is, yep. we'll be going back as uh, Adult Link. Yep, because you can't wear them as, uh, as Young Link. And they really do a good job of, like, I feel like it's almost uh, about half a mountain of each, really. It's not it like, really like a little part of the kid and a little part of the adult. It's kind of a mix of both, really, about the same... Uh, Huh. It really is, and I like how there's one huge room that ties the two halves together. That is pretty cool. Forward. That is pretty. Where we get the uh, dungeon, man. yeah, the yep. big old statue and everything, oh, uh -huh. the big main room of the of the temple, yeah. And uh -huh. here we are with this first time we meet uh, Nabaru, who's uh, she's not quite on board with Ganondorf as king of the thieves. Yeah, she doesn't like him. She doesn't like him very much. So she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Once every hundred years, there's only one man board. So. I know. Come on, you can't be. Picky. You, get, you don't have two choices of who's going to be the uh, king. You only got one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a democracy. That's for sure. <laughs> But she's going to try to steal these gauntlets, is what she's telling you. It's this treasure uh, to use against Ganon, yeah. but unfortunately mm -hmm. she can't... Well, she needs them. them to get farther in the dungeon. Yes, that's right, so. that's right. But she can't get through the opening, and she needs a kid, like you, anyway, to get through there. Now, why can't she climb through that hole? Because she's almost... She's just a little bit bigger than we are. And she looks skinnier than you. She does. She does look skinnier. I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't be very good for the plot, I guess, if she just did it all herself. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be much of, a game. Much of an adventure, <laughs> would it? <laughs> but uh, one thing I will mention that uh, Hick and I both agree, we really love this dungeon. Uh, Hick had it number two in our dungeon yes, rankings. Yes, I um, personally uh, put it as my favorite. But you put it as your favorite in all the Zelda, in all Zelda, Zelda games. games. And I'm not sure what it is about it, whether it's the puzzles, the Egyptian theme, what it is, but I just... Something about this too. Well, the theme is awesome. The music First great. off, I kind of like how like the desert was kind of out there. Like You yeah. never got to it until the very end. So yep. like when you made out to this dungeon, like the whole area just felt kind of new. It really did. Stuff, it really so. did. Because, yeah, you never made it out there as Young Link. You yeah. never made it out there until mm -hmm. the very end as, as Adult Link. But I think the whole thing I do like about the most is like the... Uh, the Egypt, Egyptian yeah. kind of ruins, pyramid filling stuff exactly. like that. It makes of. it feel like you're actually exploring a room. Yeah, like a real, like a real temple, yeah. kind of in a way. Yeah, it's like some Indiana Jones stuff or something. Yeah, but it is a very fun dungeon. Here we are now that she's finally done talking. That is a long conversation <laughs> right there. Start yeah. off. <laughs> I could make a comment here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, now that she's finally done talking, we can actually venture into the Young Link half of the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And I will have to say, the very first walkthrough I did of this, I ran straight into that first blade. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do it later on. Uh, I think I do it a couple times, actually, in this walkthrough. Uh, yeah, my depth perception wasn't all there at the time, I think. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is a uh, like we mentioned. The whole Egyptian theme here really stands out. Mm -hmm. You got to watch out for these. Uh, yeah, you might want to equip your shield before this because you can like <laughs> do that little thing over your shield and then you can just run right into it. But I didn't do that. Yep. Once you kill them, it's weird. They actually point you towards the right door. And you're supposed to go to the left. You're supposed to go yeah. to the left one. Yeah, that's that's weird. that is weird. Yeah. Kind of pointless for them to do that. But I don't think you can go very far in that door. I think to realize right that you can. Yeah, you can't go very much far. I think you're right into a fence. Yeah. Now, finding a Stalfos as Young Link is definitely a little tough. Yeah, with your coke, was it Kokiri or Kokiri sword? sword? Yeah, yeah, however you pronounce it. Now, one trick you can do is you can get him close to the edge. You can mm -hmm. hit him with your sword him a few times. And, and yeah, knock him off the edge. But that's not always uh, easy to do. <laughs> you can get, I got him close here, I think, but I don't think I pulled it off. Yeah, he takes a lot more hits to kill him, too, with your little Kokiri. Yeah, whatever. Coke, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's not okay. He just yeah. gave up halfway of saying the, the kitty sword. The kid sword. <laughs> <laughs> the one you get in the forest. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> but I do kind of like how you can finally use the boomerang here again. It feels like you got that nearly near the end of we have a, Young Link. Yeah, you wouldn't even be a kid forever. Like, where you haven't had to be a kid. Exactly. And forever. So, like, really, yeah, like you said, like a lot of the weapons from the child, uh, play, uh, child play. Yeah. Uh, kind of get reused again. Yep, and it's nice to kind of go back to those, I thought. Especially yeah, it is kind of cool. Yeah. Because you didn't get to use it that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah, got... yeah, Boomerang was Jabu Jabu, <laughs> then you were done. Yep. Oh, now that we've got through there, we're going to get some rupees. All that for blue rupees. All that for blue rupees. Which we don't even need this late in the game. Why, why they give me rupees this late in the game, yeah. I don't know. You shouldn't need rupees at this point. Now, this is a fun enemy. Well, fun. <laughs> well, don't set that right in the middle of the fire, though. A different enemy here. He won't shoot at you unless you swing your sword. And uh, what you wanted to do, yeah, as you saw, you swung your sword to kill a pot mm -hmm. and he shot at you. What you want to do, he mirrors your movements, though. So if you get all the way across the room and hit this switch, a flame will pop up and kill him. And you can also use Din's, Din's fire, but I 
I tried it once, it didn't work, so I don't know if you have to be like pretty close to them or, I think so. or what you have to do. So. so I remember the later room, there's like three of them, and I think I used Dins Fire to kill yeah, the close ones. Yeah, you can't use that, yeah, yeah. yeah. But either way, you know, Dins Fire is, is very handy in some places in this game. It's kind if, of a bit of a shortcut. If you get hit by that blade, it will knock you off. Oh, found that out the hard way a few times. But you start beginning <laughs> the room, so it's not really a big deal. Yep. It's also awful nice of Navi here to warn you about the shadows falling from the ceiling. Yes, uh, uh, although we're not made it very far in the dungeon yet, true, so... True, true. But you still don't want to ever go back to the beginning. Yeah. And you have to listen to that girl talk again. Oh, that's For worst. that long, you know. <laughs> and these guys plague you in all these Zelda games. It's ridiculous. The the ceiling monster, uh... Wallmaster? Wallmasters, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you got Wallmasters and Floormasters. Well, yeah, so. that's it. Floormasters come out of walls, yeah, which is kind of confusing. I do not like... I like using some of the uh, child weapons, but I do not like using the child sword. No, it <laughs> that was so, not the fun part. It does so much less damage. It's ridiculous. Boomerang cool, Kokiri sword, not cool. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, and here what we're going to do once we uh, kill this... Uh, not gold skull too, the regular skull too. Uh, Keys. Those are keys. Yeah, those are keys. Uh -huh. There is a skill too in there. And you okay. want to get those before they start flying because they'll fly into the flame. Well, I guess two on the one side will. That's right. And yep. they'll become fire keys, which oh. they're a little more dangerous. They can get you on fire. But if they're killing you when you got 19 hearts, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, if you're dying to keys at this point in the game, it's not a good sign for your Zelda playing. <laughs> Go back and start <laughs> over from the beginning. <laughs> uh, Watch us get hit by keys here in a little while. Well, as long as it doesn't kill us, we're That's okay. true. Yeah. So, once we select those five silver rupees, though, the uh, gate will fall and we'll be able to advance uh, mm -hmm. to the other side of this room. I kind of made a little mistake here. I went across the bridge and then realized the flame was on the other side. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Wait, it's back here. And again, that's a place you could use Den's Fire, but just to, like two torches, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, by the time I got back to the, the flame, <laughs> yeah, we're taking this fire. Just been, yeah, we're taking this as long. Yeah, yeah. And then they put the treasure chest all the way back on the other side. Yeah, they're just not very friendly to you in this dungeon. Man, this theme is awesome, though. Oh, man. I do love this music. Like Second said, behind the Forest Temple. <laughs> like I said, a lot of it adds up to make, like I said, your it was second a great dungeon. dungeon. My it was a great dungeon. last dungeon, really, in my opinion. And that's thing, it wasn't necessarily that hard of a final dungeon. No, it wasn't. The, the uh, Well, the boss wasn't hard. The final boss wasn't hard. It yeah. just took a long time. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit when we get there. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's kind of a reason that that fight The whole last part, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We definitely struggled a little bit with, with the last boss, trying to switch amongst our mm -hmm. sword and shield a little bit like idiots. <laughs> if you're still using uh, Clifton Skultulas, I mean, that's why we show them on here, but really after you get 50, I think the last one you get gives you like a 200 rupee, maybe, Something. but you don't, that late in game, you don't even need a 200 rupee for anything, so. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to be buying anything at this point, so. Yeah, but we still like to show you where they are. Uh, just, just in case. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I do like about this dungeon hall or this temple is like the doors feel bigger. I don't know if they actually are. They do, but they feel bigger in this temple. I think part of it might be because you're the kid. Oh, that's actually a very good. Point. But it does, give, it does that. give you a sense of how. Good job, Red. Good job. I didn't even think about that. Every now and then, but it does give you a sense of scale. I Every guess. now and then, we come up with something good. Yeah. <laughs> It takes two of us sometimes, but we get, we get a third guy. Yeah, we really do. We'd be, we'd be really on top of this guy. God, we don't shut up as it is. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> We're quiet for like two seconds and we think it's ten. It really does. If you, you've noticed that through our videos, there's not a lot of quiet time. <laughs> Which we hope you've watched most of our videos to this point. Nice, nice boomerang throw, by the way. That's one of those things like where you... you like if you just hit the button, like it just throws it all mad. Yeah. Like you actually got to hold down the button. Yep. I've made that mistake enough times. I was gonna say, the last time you had a good run through, Skyloft was still under construction. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! I'm gonna put down my headphones and walk away here. That's, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be quiet for a little. <laughs> <laughs> I have some jokes in my mind. That I'm just waiting for the right times for you oh, to man. say something. That was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we were struggling with this Dodongo. Oh, guy, this man. guy, this guy had my number. I mean, we haven't fought them surprise since Dodongo's cavern. Did you see why they had jump attack and he hit me in midair? Yeah. This guy, oh, well, not this guy. This guy do pretty good on too. The other actually, one that pops but, out. Yeah, the other one pops out. I get him pretty good. You know, I thought this was a little weird. We have these weapons called freaking uh, the bombs. What are they called? Bomb right? juice. Bomb juice. This might be the only place in the game we use them. Is in this room. We well, usually get heart piece too. Oh, that's true, that's true. You also have to use it in Ganon's Tower. Um, oh. You have to go over that fence through the hole and use it there to hit the crystal oh. switch or whatever. So use it there, too. Yeah, it seems like a weapon you could get a long time ago. It's a very cool weapon. I don't know why they don't make you, make you use it more I in agree. the game. And in case you don't have any at this point, they do drop a few 
uh, in one of these treasure chests. I think one of them has one treasure chest has rupees, and one of them has yeah, the small shoes right there. Uh -huh. yeah. And I missed this first one miserably. <laughs> You don't feel bad? I'm pretty sure I missed it on my first try, too. Well, just like if you get a little bit of an angle, I mean, you just completely miss it. I mean, you gotta yeah. be pretty much straight on it. Yeah. I think I used the target yeah. still. Yeah. I think I did too the first time because you really, yeah. he goes at a weird yeah, angle. Yeah, you gotta get wall. straight on it, basically. This is one guy that Z targeting really doesn't help. But I mean, it's, a, it's not gonna take you too many tries. No. And the whole point of doing that, like you saw there, there's these sunshine mm -hmm. icons, I guess, on the floors. You have to hit them, duh, with sunlight yeah. to advance. And here's kind of the room we mentioned earlier that's like the big room. A that very ties, cool room. A very cool room. And it ties the Adult Link and Young Link sides together. You'll come to this room in both of them. A very cool concept, really. I liked it, too. I mean, there's just different things in this dungeon. And there's a lot to do in this room as both Young and Adult Link. I mean, you get the map right here when you use yeah. fire. Skull Tool is in here. Skull Tool is. You get a, a key. Keys. Yep. You also enter the boss room, or yes, go towards the both, boss. Both boss rooms, yeah, uh -huh. Young Link and Adult Link. You got two elevators, yep. one that goes back down to the bottom, then one that comes down from the top. From the ceiling, yep. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It's happening in this room. And right in the middle of this huge, weird snake lady statue. <laughs> Now here's that apparently you can hook shot to your nipples, I've heard. No. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I think I've seen somebody actually do that. That sounds like something we would have tried. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't now that I think about it, but I thought I saw the walkthrough. But, <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we won't be seeing that in, in this particular <laughs> I wish I would have done it. As now. fun as this room is, we, we didn't try that. But uh, this pretty much wraps up uh, part one of our walkthrough. Come back and join us in a few moments for uh, part two of Young Link's walkthrough.